Hey everyone, it's Carlos Aragon with Reach of the Stars. I just wanted to talk to you and share some news that happened recently, actually around May 20th of last month. So, an astronomer by the name of Koichi Itagaki from Yamagata, Japan, was using one of the telescopes from the Zawiki Transit Facility in California, and he was imaging the M101 galaxy, also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy. Now, he saw something that intrigued him because it wasn't there before, but he saw that there was a bright spot that was appearing, and he sent it off to NASA or wherever you sent your discoveries off to you to get verified, and it was confirmed the next day. This dude discovered a supernova. Now, I'm going to explain to you what that means, but you can see in this image here, one image taken April 21st and one taken May 21st and before it's not there and then all of a sudden it appears. That is amazing. The last one I think that was discovered was 10 years ago. So this is really cool and I'm not sure if he's a professional or an amateur astronomer. It doesn't matter. These things happen all the time. Just a few months ago an amateur astronomer in a different state discovered a massive nebula of oxygen hanging out right next to the Andromeda galaxy. Now this is crazy because the Andromeda Galaxy is one of the most imaged, if not the most imaged, deep sky object of all time. It's massive, it's bright, it's easy to spot, it's easy to image. And there's a massive nebula that he discovered sitting right next to it that no one had ever seen before. So these things happen, and I'm hoping one day that I'll be able to catch something like this and discover it and have it named after me. I'm not sure why this one's called SN2023IXF, SN for supernova, then the year, and then the last name or initials or something. Anyways, these things happen, but I heard of the news, and so I went out into the backyard with our little imaging telescope, pointed it up to M101, and I wanted to see if I could see the supernova, because they don't last long, a few weeks to, to a month. But this is me in the backyard in Tucson. Yay! setting up for the night and then this is a screen recording of the process I do every night imaging on my tablet. So this is the pinwheel galaxy and you can see there's a little spot right there that's what we're looking for here. So when I brought this inside I thought shoot maybe I imaged this before and I can show a before and after picture from my own images. So I did. This one on the left is the pinwheel galaxy on April 4th 2023. So just two months ago. So this area right here in April didn't have any bright spot next to that star. And look at that. Boom. Big bright spot there. So I actually got it in the camera. And I'm really happy of capturing this moment in time because this might not ever happen again in my lifetime. I hope it doesn't happen in our lifetimes nearby because supernovas are extremely violent, destructive explosions. And the destructive path of the supernova is a radius of 50 light years. So let's just put that into perspective for a moment. 50 light years. The solar system is not even one light year and it takes months if not years to travel around it. So the sun is the closest star to us, yes, but beyond the sun, the closest star is Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri is only 4.2 or 4.3 light years away. So let's just say 5 light years. If we use right now the current fastest man-made object that we have ever built to jump on and launch to Proxima Centauri 5 light years away, it would take 75,000 years to reach Proxima Centauri at just 4 light years. 75,000 human life years to reach. So 50 light years, 10 times that distance, is the destructive path of a supernova. So let's hope Proxima Centauri does not go supernova anytime soon, anytime at all, because it will completely vaporize Earth and the entire solar system and be absolutely terrible. So, what's crazy about this image here is this pinwheel galaxy is an entire galaxy in itself. We are living in the Milky Way right now. The Milky Way is an entire galaxy. And our solar system is just a tiny, tiny piece buried deep inside one of the galaxy's arm. I mean, this galaxy is so far away. And we don't know if there's life on the pinwheel galaxy. So, I hope there's no life in that 50 light year radius of SN2023 IXF supernova. 
If there is, I am so sorry. Earth sends good vibes and wishes to all of you. But we don't know if there's a life on, on M101, but let's hope there's not in that area. If there is nearby that did not get destroyed, they would have quite the light show right now. Their entire skies would be lit up at night. It would be absolutely gorgeous. So I just wanted to share this cool piece of news with you, even though I'm like three weeks late now at this point. But I captured my moment in time of the pinwheel galaxy with my own telescope. You can too. If you want to get a telescope, contact me. I can help you pick out the right one. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you out there under the stars.